Okay, this ends up being part three of the harmonic minor scale lesson. Um, what I'm doing is I'm taking the, uh, the written part of the solo, not the improvised, but the first 12 bars, and I'm going to kind of go through it for you real fast, and you can see uh, how you get these chord tones, how we're, we're basically targeting chord tones within the harmonic minor scale uh, to get the solo line to fit the song a little bit better. All right, so the first bit, um, the first two measures, and once again, uh, you can go to markweenguitarlessons.com to get the written portion of this and the backing track to jam over. Uh, everything's downloadable, um, uh, and it'll all make sense as one big lesson uh, that way. Anyway, we're in B minor. Uh, we're starting with 12th fret on the second string. First measure like that. Second measure. Uh, the first thing we're doing is we're playing the 10th fret on the first string. 12th fret on the second string, 11th fret on the uh, third string. That's actually just down to B minor arpeggio. If we were looking at when we did our, um, our B minor arpeggio in the seventh position, 10 and 7 on the first string, and then 7 on the second string, those are the same notes. We're just moving them up here. Um, I'm kind of trying to play a little bit. Uh, like a modern version of, of what B.B. King would do over something like this. <coughs> and um, he li really likes that position. You know, so that's kind of where, where I'm playing instead of the, just playing in the blues box. Kind of area. Right, so we've got 10, 12, 11, and then 10 on the second string. This is in the third measure. 9, 7, 9 on the second string. 7 on the 2nd, 7 on the 3rd. Alright, um, so what you have there, you go down that minor arpeggio. Alright, and we're going to end that on the 7th, uh, I'm sorry, the ninth fret on the 4th string. And then we're going to kind of complete the phrase uh, on the 5th string, 7, 5, 7. On the, on the fourth string, and then five on the uh, fifth, and then we we'll come up back up to the ninth fret for the B or the root. So we've got it. Um, right, just chock full of chord tones there. Now, when we get to the second line, where it gets to the E minor chord, first thing we do is we have a bend, the ninth fret, bending up a whole step. All right, so we're bending up the whole step, bring the, the bend down real quick, and then pull from the ninth fret off to the seventh fret, and then come back to the ninth fret. Now, the magic note in all of this, the note that um, is most different in the E minor arpeggio is this G, or the eighth fret on the second string, because if you play this uh, B minor pentatonic scale, um, that's the one note that's not in the, in the E minor chord. So the easiest way to play something different or interesting or to identify that we're playing over a new chord is to hit that G, just to play something different. So we nail it. Uh, and the phrase goes, let's see. Now, what I'm doing is eight and then seven on the second string, nine on the third string, and then Seven on the second string, seven on the third string, nine on the fourth, nine on the fifth. So that's actually kind of like a D e minor arpeggio, um, but the, the notes all work over the E minor. And then ten, this is back to our, our G, our interesting note, ten on the uh, fifth, nine on the fourth, seven on the third, nine on the, uh, on the third, and then nine on the uh, fourth, which brings us back to the B minor chord. So, uh, all right, we're back to the B minor. Uh, the last measure of, of the uh, second line. What I'm doing there is I'm doing that bend again, ninth fret of the whole step, and then pull from the nine to the seven. That's all on the third string, and then. 9, 7 on the 4th string, and then 9, 8, 7, 
five on the uh, fifth string. Another thing is we play this eighth fret. That actually is part of a blues scale. It just sounds nice with this, so I put it in there. Um, and then what you're doing is you're going seven five on the sixth string, and then coming down to this G on the um, uh, sixth string uh, for the next measure. But let me go through that phrase one more time. You do the bend, ninth fret, third string, then pull off nine to seven on that third string, nine to seven on the fourth, nine, eight, seven, five on the uh, fifth, seven, five, and then three on the sixth string. And that three, that's the G, that's going to be the uh, uh, one of the chords that makes this minor blues a little bit different or a little bit more interesting. Um, when we go from the G chord to G major to an F sharp major. All right, so what happens here, uh, you've got that G, and then you go 5th string, 9, 10, 4th string, 8, 9, 3rd string, 6, 7, 9, 2nd uh, string, 7, and 8, and then 1st string, 7, 9, and 10. That's over the G7 chord, and what I'm doing there is I'm, I'm basically I'm taking that G arpeggio that we learned earlier in the lesson, and we're just going from a half step low on a lot of these. Right, it's a little approach tone, it's kind of kind of nice, and then we've got um, the uh, ninth fret on the third string. Then we're doing this uh, approach tone again, seven and eight on the uh, on the uh, second string. And then we've got the 7, 9, and 10. That's all over the G chord. Over the F sharp chord, I come down to 9. And we're going to, once again, you've got that arpeggio from the other video lesson. 9. And then we're going to go backwards on the uh, F sharp. So we're going to go 9 to 6 on the first string, 7 on the second, 6 on the third, 8 on the. Uh, uh, on the, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> on the fourth. Uh, and then to end the whole thing, we're going nine on the fifth, eight on the fourth, six and nine on the third, seven on the uh, second, and then seven on the third, nine and nine on the fourth. All right, so if I do it from the beginning of that line, from the G chord, one, So I'm going to run through this one more time. Uh, I'll do it without the track, just so you're just hearing the licks. To, from the very beginning of the whole thing. Two, three, four, and two, three, four, one, two, three. So that's just the first 12 bars of the solo. Uh, there's also another um, 24 bars of me just improvising over, giving me some different uh, looks and ideas. Uh, once again, uh, the website is markweenguitarlessons.com. Uh, this was kind of a complicated lesson, so there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of different video sections of it. The best thing to do is to go to the website uh, and check out the lesson series. Uh, there's over 100 lessons. Um, and this just happens to be the Harmonic Minor Lesson Scale series. Uh, once again, it's MarkWeenGuitarLessons.com.